Hey everyone, how are we all doing? Okay, so before we get started, everything I say in this video is my opinion, mine alone. Please feel free to do your own research, come to your own conclusions. With that being said, let's do this. Okay, so it's extremely late. I'm in too much pain to be on camera. And I just want to get this up. I have been thinking about why this family feel like they're mourning the loss of a child. And then it hits me like a friggin' freight train. Candice has already been through this once. Her sister disappeared off the face of the earth. More than ten years ago. And now the same thing is happening to a little girl. Can you imagine the pain that she is going through? Can you imagine two people in your life completely vanishing? One minute they're there, the next they're gone. And I can't stop thinking about these boys. The fact that this person is determined to exploit them at every possibility. Literally every possibility she gets, she's exploiting them. Now, there was someone on another, another channel earlier today who was apparently friends with Rosemary and said that a lot of the stuff that had been said about Candace has been lies. Don't surprise me in the least. People like to make stories fit with the way they they see it. The way they want it to look. And the way that it suits them. But for one minute, put yourself in Candace's shoes. Your sister goes out and she's never to be seen again. 10 plus years. Then your daughter goes missing. Can you imagine how that would feel? Can you imagine what you would do? I can't. I probably would break. I would probably hide. I would possibly end my own life. Because she's already been through this. And is still going through it. Only twice now. Those boys are being exploited. And there are things being said that have not even been verified. Because the story suits their narrative. But if you took a step back and you looked at this realistically. And you think about it. First Rosemary disappears, then your daughter disappears, Summer, such a beautiful little girl, Look, always looks so happy and full of fun and love, but one minute there that she's there, the next she's gone, just like your sister. God, I wouldn't want to be in her head. Just being in my own now, thinking about it is bad enough. I wouldn't want to be in Candace's head. 
And those boys have been through far too much already. They've been taken away from everything they know. And Candace has only ever known loss. She is a stronger woman than I am, let me say. She's definitely, definitely stronger than I could ever be. Total respect. And I'm going to repeat again, I couldn't imagine... One, losing a sister, the way Candice lost hers. Then two, a daughter, and the way that Candice has lost hers. And I'm sorry, but if the police thought there was even the slightest chance that they were guilty, they would have been arrested by now. We are coming close to four months. It's a matter of days. And if they suspected one of them, that person would have been locked up by now. I don't know why people can't see that. And I wish that people could see That losing one person in your life, one person disappearing, if that's not hard enough, two. Anyways, I just wanted to get that out there and try again to get some sleep because it's extremely early hours in the morning. Good night all. Please, please keep these considerations in your mind because they are meaningful and important and explains a hell of a lot. Good night.